Hey everybody, I've got the little Ford 8N out here today on the northwest corner of the compound. Probably its final run for 2020. Getting ready to prep it for winter and put it away, but brush hog is on the back right now. I have some field edge cleanup to do out here. Once I'm finished out here, I'm going to buzz back to uh, headquarters and we have a little bit of cleanup to do around there as well. Reason I came up here and started here first is because I don't like having a lot of excess fuel to drain out of these things before I put them away for winter. So we'll get the work done up here first and hope that if we run out of gas today, it's back at home near a gas can. So that is the plan. Field edges are done. So we'll cross Senior's little food plot strip that he put in here. Boy, some of this stuff is growing. Doing pretty well, I would say. Deer been in here chewing on things a little bit. Of course, they're really going after the foliage now that it's had a couple frosts on it. It's starting to turn sweet. So they're just loving life. I'll tell you what, these Fords are good little mower tractors. They're kind of like an ant. They're not very big. And they don't do a lot, but for what they do, it's pretty impressive considering how small these things are. So we're finished up here. Boy, I like the view from up here. Next, we go up in those trees.
Okay, same routine up here. We have a little bit of a corner to kind of clean up right here, and then we'll just do field edge perimeter, and we'll be done. We're done with the mowing and this poor tractor is filthy from an entire summer of disking and brush hogging and all kinds of stuff like that so i'd like to clean it up today but it's nice and warm right now it's kind of due for an oil change so i think i'm going to drop the oil change filter we'll get that out of the way first okay big drain plug and hot oil this is all going to run out in about five seconds so Scoot back from your monitor a little bit. Watch out, everybody. Three, four, five. Okay, I lied. Six, seven. Yeah, we'll say eight seconds. We're pretty much done. I think that screen is supposed to come with the plug. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And while we're at it, I've got a new oil filter in the can. All right, filled with oil. Let's build some pressure. Okay, we're just finishing up greasing the fittings here. I hit those front spindles regularly, as well as this fitting right here. This is one I added back when I rebuilt this tractor, uh, 2015 to 16 is when I did this one. And this is a remote fitting I made. I used a grease gun tube to get it up into the main axle pin up here. Now, where the axle pivots on this pin, there is a bushing in there. And the Ford engineers back in the day never provided for any means to lubricate that. It was a dry running bushing. I suppose they thought grease would only attract grit and wear things out faster, so they preferred to leave it dry. Well, this tractor had worn through the bushing and it had the pin had worn another 120 thousandths into the I-beam axle. That hole literally was shaped like an egg when I took this apart. So I had to bore that out, make it round. I pushed it back down but I also drilled the bottom of the axle. And like I said, I used this grease gun hose, a couple fittings and put a zerk out here. So I have a remote grease point to actually push grease up into that pin and keep purging all the dirt out. Just a little modification I did to this. Haven't regretted it. And as long as we're in the neighborhood, you can see after a day where I've done a lot of dusty, dirty brush hogging, you can see all of that 
debris that collects on the front of the radiator. Well, I made a mesh screen that goes up there. Now, if I pivoted the grill forward, it would be real easy to clean that off, but I'll just show you here. All of that stuff, you can just get up in there and rake right out. That, that grill screen really protects the radiator and the front of the engine from a lot of that stuff going through. You do have to check it periodically when you're in some really dirty stuff because you don't want it to restrict airflow. But that's just another regular maintenance item that I prefer to have because I don't have trouble remembering to check that stuff. All right, it's a couple hours later, but the final step of the day has been completed. I got the tractor cleaned up as well as the brush hog. After today, both were filthy. The tractor was even worse than the brush hog from being in the dirt and the dust and disking and back blading and mowing and everything else all summer long. But it's back to being clean, looking pretty good now. So we've got fresh oil and filter. Everything's been greased and I also tested antifreeze while I was into it. We are good on freeze protection for the winter time. So I'm gonna take it down, drop the brush hog under the lean-to, probably take the tractor for one last spin, stretch its legs, get it warmed up one final time, pack it away in the back of the shed where it spins the winter. So, yeah, man, I can't believe we're at this stage again already. It seems like I just pulled this thing out like last week, but summers go that fast. So, yeah, that's a dependable little tractor. Once again, it did everything we asked of it all year long really helps having been through every bit of that because it's pretty much back to being new so it's pretty reliable and you hit the button and it starts and it runs and it does what it's supposed to do every time so hope you guys enjoyed the video today i'm gonna get this tractor put away and we'll go on to the next project thanks for watching everybody